Before you're killing the varsity with uh, head coach Darvis Davis after the big victory over Hard to Kill. Coach, talk to me about um, your, your team tonight. You put up 47 points on a pretty good Hard to Kill team. Yes, sir. Our team played hard. Hard to Kill is a great coach team. Uh, they came out hard. We knew that. We, we know we're going to get every team's great effort. They came out hard, kind of knocked us in the mouth and woke us up. Yeah. Um, but then we kind of we, we stuck to our plan and we just kept pushing, kept pushing, kept pushing. I always tell the guys when things go hard, to come together. They came together. We, we was able to come out with a win. Yeah, talk, they put up 21 points in the first quarter, and then they only scored seven the rest of the game. What adjustments did you make on the defensive side of the ball? Uh, we just made a couple changes, moved people around. We, we were lining up wrong a lot of times, and, and I think it had a lot to do with the bye week, but I'm not making excuses. We just didn't come to play at first. And then we finally we finally calmed down and just started making plays, focused in the game, and, and just got it going. Yeah, talk about your quarterback in this offense, man. Richard Latimer <laughs> threw up. I think we carried five or six touchdown passes yes, tonight. Yes, sir. Talk about how he leads this offense and um, really guides them down the field. Great, Richard. Richard's a great guy, man. He's um he's really taking control of the offense. Um, and and I I credit a lot of that to Coach Model, the offensive mm-hmm. coordinator, and Coach Jacob. Jacob has him in the weight room, so he's more comfortable. Uh, so now he's able to sit back and relax, um, take hits that he couldn't take last year, yeah. and make plays he didn't make last year. Mm-hmm. So now he's more comfortable in the pocket, making plays. He's calmed down. You see, we did better. Like I kept telling him, we were the same. We was right here in the same spot versus Van. Right. We made the yeah. same, we, and we made those mistakes. So we seen him get better. He mm-hmm. controlled the clock better. Uh, he, he took care of the ball better. And that's yeah. one thing. He, every yeah. week he's growing and growing. That's a great person. Excellent. And talk about these two Brown brothers, man. <laughs> I tell you, they put on a show tonight. Great athletes. Both of them great <laughs> athletes, man. That's, that's all I can say. They're great athletes. They they make you work hard every day. Um, yeah. like, like I tell them, we have – the, the best receiving core in the state, I, I think. And practice, it practice is very hard for the defense, which makes us better. Right. But these two right. guys really help us out a lot. They do a lot of things that people don't know. Both of them play offense. Both of them play defense. Both of them play almost every special team and does, and won't complain about either one of them. Yeah. And they, they yeah. never ask to come off. I had to take them off just to get them water. Mm-hmm. But they they just have they just great competitors. And they want to win. They want to play. And they, they do that. They compete against each other all the time. All, you right. always see them going back and forth with each other about who's better. Mm-hmm. And that's what I love about them. And they, and they just make the team better. Yeah. Most of that big um, pick six that had 91 yes, yards. I guess yes, that was the play of the game, man. Yes, it was. And um, I'll tell you, you guys have made a statement tonight. Yes, You're 4 1 on the season. I wish you the best of luck today for the time. Thank you. Thank you. Hitman, really? Okay. Hitman Matt Moore here, here on the varsity with quarterback Richard Latimer. Richard, talk about your performance tonight, throwing the ball all over the field, five or six touchdown passes. Man, how'd you get to it? First, I want to just thank God. First, I want to thank God. Then, I like to thank my O line. Without my O line, I wouldn't have time to get the ball off. And I just made the right read and got my athletes the ball in the play. Yeah, I tell you, man, your O line did a really good job, and uh, you can throw the ball deep a lot to uh, the, the Brown brothers. Talk a little bit about how you feel throwing the ball to those players. Oh, those guys, they special. <laughs> they're <really> special. So, <laughs> I'm just glad they're part of our offense, and I got them on each side so the defense can be unbalanced. So I love when I throw it to them because I know they're gonna make a play. Oh yeah, and they they most definitely did, man. Um, you guys are four and one on the season. How does it feel to be turning this program around and making a statement here in the uh, city and the state of North Carolina? Oh, it feels great. It feels great to let to show that we are different. We have met. We not with the old way making. Not what people may seem over social media and stuff. So. Yeah, I told you, coach, you made a statement tonight, man. And um, you are definitely a dual threat quarterback, and you are a pleasure to watch, man. We appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thank you.